now that you're familiar with the authoring tool, let's start designing our module. As an instructional designer who focuses more on the development side, the biggest factor in getting hired or selected is your ability to design professional looking slides. Rest assured, you do not need to have design skills to come up with good looking designs. If you look at the sample courses shown here, you'll notice that they all look very professional. However, every single design that you see were based on other templates or design ideas found on the internet. To create professional looking slides, you'll need to spend a good amount of time looking at design ideas from the internet. Although there are templates for you to use in Articulate Storyline 360, you may be using Storyline 3 which doesn't have that access. Either way, it is important for you to know how to look at design ideas to mimic. The important thing is that you don't want to try to come up with your own designs, as you will probably won't come up with something nice. Instructional designers are not graphic designers. To come up with original designs will just require too much time. Let's go over the process that you can go about designing professional looking courses by leveraging designs in the internet. There are a few resource sites that I highly recommend. The first is freepick.com. This site, in my opinion, is the best site for getting ideas and downloading images and graphics. You can go to this site to get ideas on how your courses should look. We're going to build our cover slide, objective slide, and our summary slide for this topic. Let's begin with the cover slide. On the website, let's type PowerPoint in the search bar. This will show you a lot of templates for you to browse through. From here, you can just search through the pages and find something that you think that the client or stakeholder might like. We'll do that now. Let's look at this one. This one looks nice. We'll download it and open it up. What we're going to do is basically mimic the look and feel of this template for our title slide. We're going to create shapes and add in text. Let's do that now. You can create the same one I did here, or you can find the one you like. Next, we'll create the objective slide that comes after the cover slide. For this one, you can keep it simple and show some text on the left with an image or an icon on the right. For text, you want to create some short bullets that accompany the script. As a general rule, you want to create bullets near the beginning, middle, and near the end of the paragraph. Depending on your topic, you can find graphics or icons that go with your content. For our course, we're going to go over productivity so we grab an image that relates to that. For this one, I'll use an icon. For icons, one great resource site is flaticon.com. This is also free. You can download the icon and drag in the image here. One addition I recommend in terms of design is inserting a subtle background picture. You'll notice that many of the sample modules shown here have a background image. So you find a background image from freepick.com and insert it here. Now that you have an image, let's add a rectangle shape over the picture and decrease the opacity. Create a rectangle. Drag the shape so that it covers the entire slide. Then right click on the shape to go to properties. From there, we'll reduce the opacity. If you look at this objective slide, it looks nice. You have on-screen text with the relevant graphic. 